Okay, we back. It's your boy. We out here in the rain driving again. It's your Uncle Chris Jack with Must Be Me. Ah, it must be me. Y'all, y'all know we in the confines of love, right? We understand the love. We talk about relational stuff. We talk about things that's getting us together. But now, I got a question. I want y'all to answer this honestly. Tell me something how you feel. You've been with your partner 15, 20, 25 years. All of a sudden, now remember, them 25 years have been just van glorious. Everything been good. All of a sudden, one of you cheat. Whether the husband or wife, we don't care. You pick who you want to cheat. Now, do you give up on that person? I want y'all to think about that for a second. Like, and I'm back. Think about that. Now, I asked some precarious people this question that are, have been through the storm and the rain and then they all said the same thing. No. But I know of a personal situation where somebody left. Now, me being who I am, a shot not not like to talk to me. He's like, shot not not like what's going on. He's like, tell him something. I said, I'm telling him. So, with that being said, I said, let me look at this. What happened that the person decided to cheat? Because if we and you been together for 20 years or 25 years, and we got four or five of umpteen kids, I'm used to hitting that. Just be candid with y'all. We grown folk here. We can talk like that right here. I'm used to hitting that when I'm ready. Ain't none of that. Ain't none of that. Yes, it is. It is something tonight. You see all them kids here? It's something whenever we feel like it. All them kids that get here because we were sleeping. Somebody was like Bobby Brown around here. You ain't gonna leave that alone though. Y'all ain't ready for Bobby. Y'all, y'all, okay. Now, let's get to the point. The point is, it's called work. Love is one thing, it's simple. It's real meticulous, but it's simple all at the same time. But the thing is, it's the work that makes the love work. You get what I'm saying? People gonna wanna say, well the Bible says, I'm gonna help you right now. Now, in the book of Corinthians, the Bible then says, his body is not his, but it's hers. Her body is not hers, but it's his. That's in the Bible. The first commandment, the first commandment, God said, be fruitful, <laughs> multiply, fruitful, Multiply, be fruit. Y'all know what I'm trying to say here. Y'all got them babies right here. Somebody who's been fruitful and they got to multiply. Like rabbits is just we, okay. Now let's get back. Now, second part of it is the only time you separate from your partner is through fasting and prayer because y'all want to come against something that was coming against y'all. So now I'm gonna make it even simpler. What happened was, what don't nobody know was, something had to change. If me and you ain't getting it in no more, we ain't fruitful and we ain't multiplying. And I, I'm upset because I, I like being fruitful. I enjoy the fruit. I like nectar. You know what I mean? I like eating fruit. I like, they good. But we're going to leave it alone. We're going to go there someday. We're going to leave y'all alone right now. But what I'm trying to make y'all understand is this. Look, real candidly, something had to change. So someone had to do something, or rather, let me rephrase it. Someone had to stop doing something for infidelity, infidelity to come into the household. For that to happen, something had to transpire that wasn't normal. Something out of the normal chain. Now, I know personally, couples like I'm telling y'all right now, they have been through the storm and the rain and they made it through. Not just because they own, because they made God that threefold cord. So that's that third, that tied it binds and made it work. Because otherwise, they wouldn't be together right now. And when I say they've been through stuff, I'm not going to put it out there, but they've been through stuff that most people couldn't handle. But they found a way through because what they decided was, this love is strong enough for us to work. And I'm going to tell you what somebody told me this week. And I asked the gentleman that same question. I posted everything to him. He said, from my vantage point, there was no love. I said, why would you say that? He said, because there ain't no way in the world I'm going to be with you 20 years. You mess around on me one time, and I'm going to leave you. He said, where was the love at? There couldn't have been love. He said, and actually what he said makes a lot of sense. I want y'all to, you know, let your shot now not get on you right now. And think like, shot now not what he said. Shot now not saying that's the truth. Where did the love go? Makes me think that the love has started dissipating a while before. Again, get back to the basics. The basics are going to help you. It's going to help you understand you and your, your mate, your loved one. But it's all about this. Love thing is one thing, but it's the work that comes with it. Like I said, you buy cars, houses, rings, be all the gaudy stuff, all the uh, name brand fashions. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? But who going to get up in the middle of the night when you're tired and take turns to feed the baby? Who gonna go ahead and change the baby? Who gonna go ahead and say, I'm gonna make dinner today? Why? Because you don't look like you had a good day at work. Or who gonna come in and say, you know what? They don't have to say a word, but by your actions, they know what you need. They might give you that massage or that foot rub or run that hot bath water. Like, I'm gonna clean up the house. I'm gonna get dinner. That's where the work is. See, y'all, we always talk about love, but we gotta realize there's so much work that comes after that. I'm telling you, we gotta put in this work to get to know ourselves, because once you get to love you, you'll know how to love somebody else. And then the thing is, they're gonna show you stuff on how to love them. They're gonna show you what they need to be loved, and it's all a conversation away. 
We won't, we'll run around the house and won't talk and be mad, but then when you tell somebody if they don't listen, that's hurtful too. That's a whole nother subject. We gonna leave that alone. We gonna, we sticking to love. We gonna love somebody right now. We gonna, look, look that just shot that nice loose today. I'm telling y'all, listen, get y'all copies of the book. You gotta get on the Arthur Chris Jackson YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, notification. Like, subscribe, notification. Like, subscribe, notification. Y'all gotta get on there. We gotta blow these views up. Like I told y'all, we can become a, a conglomerate. We can become a, a real life powerhouse and bless and help people through everything that they go going through, their struggles, through their pains. We can make life worthwhile for one another. Cause that's why I'm here to help you, help you. Again, I said I'm here to help you, help you. This book is to help you, help me, help you, help you. You need a copy of the book to get an understanding. The second one has already been written. We ain't did that to it because y'all gotta get started on this one first. Ain't no sense in jumping the gun. We gonna stay right here, y'all. But listen, y'all know we coming back. Y'all know it's always something for you. We gonna show you love, but we gonna give you love. We gonna help you understand love. You gonna comprehend love. But the best thing we gonna do is teach you how to exert it. Till again, hey, what? It must be me. What? It must, if I have a long hair, I'll swing it, but I ain't handling it. It must be me. I just have to rub the waves for you one time. Must be me. Always again, love, y'all. Peace.